Hi. Hi. I'm so glad you're still there. Sorry I'm late. No, 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 it's fine. Yeah, get, sorry. I was just doing yoga and I like completely zoned out. Do you mind if I just tidy this up for one time? I'll be really quick. No, please, please, go ahead. Thank you so much. I'll have to turn on plates. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna light some incense because there is some very sweaty energy in here. <laughs> All right. It's better. Nice. <clears throat> okay. I'm with you. I think it's pretty uh, It's pretty cool that you're keeping active during lockdown. Oh my gosh, it's like the only way I could keep my equilibrium. <laughs> Have you been like keeping active or doing any exercise during lockdown at all? Like what, just walking or? <laughs> <laughs> Anything, any kind of exercise, just keeping active, keeping limber. Yeah, actually, uh, I have. I've been going on runs, um, like running, uh, and I just started. <laughs> I don't know if I did that. I just started hitting five k. Um, just any excuse to get outside, really. So. Whoa! How have the five k's been coming along? Am I enjoying them or am I getting faster? <laughs> well, are you happy with your times? Am I happy with my times? Oh, my times are abysmal. I'm close to, what, 30 minutes of pop? But it's the effort that counts, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I just hope that everyone stays, like, all outdoorsy when it all goes back to normal. I feel like it'd be so sad if we became all, like, interior again. Do you know what I mean? No, no, I know exactly what you mean. I completely agree. I completely agree. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you for breaking the ice, Saffron. It's my specialty. So... I haven't asked, what is it that you do for a living you know, when you're not breaking the ice? Um, I'm a project manager for an animal welfare charity. Oh my goodness, that's really cool. I've actually been a vegan for about 10 years. Do you mind if I ask what you eat? No, no, not at all. It's, it's a very important detail right now, isn't it? <laughs> in pretty much every relationship in life. <laughs> I'm a vegan too, snap. Shut up. Yeah. For how long? Well, a couple of years now. I watched a few documentaries online that just shook me to the core, and yeah, I never went back. I don't even want to watch those, although I guess it's good that they're out there. Oh my god, do you want to hear something really cool? It's going to blow your mind. Okay, go on. <laughs> I make my own milk. Oh my god, <laughs> oat milk. I make my own oat milk. Jeez, <laughs> I thought you meant, you know what, never mind. <laughs> How? I literally spend a small fortune on this stuff. Oh, no, okay, it's so easy. Um, you basically just put oats in, like, a litre of water, let them soak, add a bit of sweetness, and then you just sieve out the oats with some muslin. Done. That's it? I know. I just changed your life. Where are your eyes wandering off to? <laughs> your, uh, your living room is... Confusing. Eccentric. <laughs> No, fascinating. What interests you most? Uh... Do you know what? You have a really nice book collection over there. Yeah, I've always been a bit of a bookworm. Well, have you, uh, have you read anything cool recently? Um... Uh, actually, you know what? I just finished this collection of poems and this life coaching book. I could read you some if you like. Like right now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go for a poem. Yeah? Okay. Sure. Okay. This one really moved me. I think I cried when I read it. I've got tissues in hand. Okay. A bed of soil, undisturbed and placid, until grubby fingers break the order. The seed is dropped, the earth squished back, absence to presence. The bed is changed forever. The seed germinates, mutating and disturbing its cocoon again. Roots spread, 
the soil churned and drained, until a new form breaks the surface, climbing skywards. Seeds can grow to greatness, but beware when they drop in your bed. It's very visual. Kind of sad, though. Yeah, I feel like there's like a lot of truth in it. Thank you for sharing. It's really, really moving. <laughs> Anyway, I've spoken way too much, so it's your turn to tell me about you. Ah, uh, I'm really not great at talking about myself. Oh, <sighs> you know what we could do? There's this ultimate compatibility test that's only three questions. Do you want to do it? Okay, let's go for it. Okay, so question one is, do you like horror films? Ooh. I just have to give a simple yes or no answer, yeah? Mm-hmm. Very straightforward. Nah, it's not really my thing, if I'm honest. Yes. Same! You don't like them either. We are off to a good start. No, I hate them. <sighs> Gosh, I hate when one person <laughs> likes a certain thing and the other person... I don't really... trust people that like horror films. You don't, neither do I. I. Honestly, no. I'm running away from horror. I'm not trying to go deeper Literally, into it. Literally, you know? exactly. <laughs> so, uh, have you ever travelled to another country alone? Ooh, I think I have to think about that for a second. Um, yeah, I know. It's kind of hard to remember that kind of stuff. No. In that department, I think we are as boring as each other. <laughs> you as well? You haven't travelled? No. Well, listen, nothing beats a travel buddy, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, how comes you haven't travelled alone yet? I don't know. Don't get me wrong, like... I love my own company, but I just feel like in experiences like traveling, I just want to share my energy with someone. I get that completely. Yeah. Finally, could you pack up your life and live on a boat? Wow, now that is a left field question. Just imagine yourself, yeah, completely alone. Completely isolated, mm -hmm. again. Floating along. Do you know what? I reckon I could. I think I'm a pretty low-key guy at the best of times, and I'm thinking about it now, and that sort of tranquility is probably a bit of me. But, OK, disclaimer, my sea legs aren't great, <laughs> but I guess that's just something you'll get used to. Yeah, no, same. I could do it in a heartbeat. I feel like lockdown has been great practice. No, 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 I'm there. I'm there with you. We've got top marks. Looks like we're very compatible. I think we are. I think we're going to get married. Oh my god, you, I've been thinking that this, the whole time we've been talking, I've been thinking, yeah, probably get it. I mean, do you really trust all these personality tests? <laughs> Vinny, just because I'm a hipster, it doesn't mean that I base my life off obtuse thinking <sighs> and mysticism. Okay, no, no, you're right. However, I did actually notice that our star signs are super compatible. That's good, this is a good sign. Sign, sign. Thank you so much for this evening, Vinny. I had a really lovely time getting to know you. You have a really beautiful energy. Thank you, Saffron. So do you. And, uh, yeah, it was just a, a real pleasure talking to you. Whoa, quick answer. Hey, mate, I've been on tental hooks for this debrief, man. You were just waiting in bed for me to call you, weren't you? Bro, stop deflecting, man. Details, details. So, Saffron, yeah, um, where to start? She had a lot going on. She had this super cool hipster vibe. OK. And... Do you know what? Oh, no, was it, was it terrible? It went really well, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. I am proud of you, mate. Yeah? Vinny is proud. Oh, no, I said my name is Vinny. Shit. <laughs> I am proud of you, my guy. Listen, Callum is proud of Vinny. Vinny should feel vindicated. <laughs> you get anything else? Surname? Anything? So just a job, but I reckon I could find it. There can't be too many sufferings nearby. OK. Hold on, I'm just going to have a look now. I found her. I found her. Ah. Yeah, this is her. Mm. Yep. Get what you need? I think so. 
right, bro. That's you then. But listen, thank you for your help, and I'm gonna get some sleep, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Yeah? No problem, bro. Have a good one, yeah. See you later. Good night. Of course, right where I expect you to be. Bro, I've been killing these kill streaks recently, fam. So listen, I've got my second date with Saffron tonight. Nice work. What's the game? Uh, I think tarot, tarot reading, tarot reading. I think that's. Oh, um, those cards that people use to tell their future. That's okay. the one. That's the one. Yeah, I'm kind of just approaching it with an open mind. It's the best way to be, bro. Have you chatted since the first date? You're gonna hate me, but <laughs> she's actually sent me a vegan recipe over the app, and I'm cooking it right now. Like a, it's a cauliflower curry. Oh, Christ! <laughs> uh, actually, smells pretty I've good. Heard enough. You know what? Call me later, vegan. <laughs> uh, get your cucumber ass out of it. Alright, cool. I'll chat to you in a bit. I'll let you know how it tastes. Bye. <laughs> Knock, knock. Oh, my God. Hey, <laughs> sorry. I thought I'd better be early because of last time. No, no, no. No, you're all right. Oh, and thank you for doing a tarot reading, by the way. I, like, was looking at the other games, and I was just like, I think this will be a little bit different. Yeah, listen, I don't know much about it, but I'm a willing guinea pig. You are in for a treat, young man. OK, should we just do this? I'm quite excited. Yes. OK. So, this is my tarot deck. Nice. Um, tarot deck should be, like, really personal to their owner. Um, it sort of acts as a vessel of their energy to give, like, an authentic reading. So, like, kind of like um, an energy sponge? Yeah. I mean, there are very different types of readings that you can do. Um, but for today, I'm just going to do, like, a simple general reading that goes into your past, present, and future. Do you know what? Sorry, I thought that they only told the future. That is a common misconception. They actually don't tell you anything um, at all, really. <laughs> it's more... Hey! No, they just, like, <laughs> bring up stuff in your life um, that you can sort of delve into and consider. Cool, listen, let's just get delving. OK. So um, the first two cards I pick out are going to pertain to your past. OK. Nervous. Should be. <laughs> okay. Okay. Which card are you more drawn to? The moon or the page of pentacles? Okay, and uh, you're not going to give me any tips, right? Like, you're not going to tell mm -hmm. me which one's better and it's going to tell me I'm more amazing. <laughs> That's not how this works. Okay. Uh, the moon. Moon. I'm going to go with the moon. Okay, the moon. Lunar leaning, interesting choice. Okay. Um, right. So, do you prefer upright or reversed? I prefer it. Upright. Up. I'm going upright. Upright. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's my choice. Okay. <laughs> So, in this form, um, the moon card represents a mystery in your past. So, like, a mystery for me? Perhaps. Um, or if there was, like, a truth that always eluded you, or maybe, like, a secret that you kept from others. Um, the moon card also represents lofty dreams and a sense of foreboding. Does any of that ring true? So, I had, what, big hopes that may have been dangerous to pursue? You tell me. Something that people don't know about me is that I actually wanted to be a photographer. There's the dream. What kind? A war photographer. Ah, there's the foreboding. Yeah. How come it didn't work out? Uh, I guess just lots of people encouraged me against... Uh, I checked out, basically. What am I talking about? I don't know. I just... I was always drawn to pictures of conflicts and, well, from the safety of my classroom, they just informed me of how much injustice there was in the world, just how much cruelty among people, and obviously specifically in war. And 
Yeah, I guess I just wanted to spread that awareness myself and maybe inspire change. Do you know what? I haven't thought about that in so long, so... Damn, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> That's what the cards are for. Yeah, these cards are deep. Very, very deep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We live in my past traumas. So this is my present. It is indeed. OK. OK. Right. OK, the tower or the two of swords? Good-looking cards. Good-looking cards. Um... I like two of swords. Two of swords? Yeah, I'm going with that. So this is actually my favorite card. <gasps> Upright or reversed? Oh, God, I always get nervous picking this one for some reason. I think upright. Upright? Upright, yeah. OK. OK, so this card tells me that your current self is riddled with indecisions, solutions, and difficulties. Is any of that ringing a bell? OK, well, there's a lot going on there. Um... Yeah. They don't necessarily need to apply to you. Could be okay. others around you or, yeah. OK, it's funny. I've had a few indecisions this week which, on the face of things, seem pretty insignificant, but... In reality, the, the solutions I choose could potentially shape what is... You're talking about this dating app, aren't you? Am I that obvious? Ah, oh, it's silly to take these things too serious, I know, but... <laughs> Not at all. I mean, anyone you meet on a dating app has the potential to impact your whole life, so... I agree. I think so, too. Yeah. Literally, like, forever. Like, you never know who mm. you're going to meet, so... And what you're going to find out about yourself and... True. I mean, this is a good example of that, so... <laughs> OK, my guess about my future is as good as yours, so I guess this is where the real mysticism starts, right? Wow, these are just, like, feelings I get. Um, you know, maybe they'll just focus your attention on an outcome you'll want to, like, achieve or avoid. Sure. OK. <sighs> it makes me nervous when you do that. that this... <laughs> <laughs> OK. So, Seven of Cups or the Four of Wands? Four of, four of Wands or Seven of Cups. Um, what do you like the look of? Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. OK. And then upright or reversed? Um, it's going to be... It kind of looks like jelly on me, doesn't it? OK, we'll keep it upright, then. Save the jelly! <laughs> <laughs> OK, so, right, this symbolises warning, hope and choices. OK, there's a lot of conflicting things going on there. Yeah. Warning, hope and choices. What do you think of that? I guess this pandemic has been a warning of our fragility as a species. So when it all ends, I think that there'll be a lot of hope because we've all been brought closer together to fight one common enemy. Does that make sense? And the choices we make will define whether this horrible experience will make society better. I honestly think it's all about teamwork. Yeah. Everybody coming together. And I know that, again, that's like another cliche that people always say, but I do believe that. Yeah, I agree. Well, thanks for being so open with me with this stuff. Um, not everyone is. No, it was all pretty insightful, I have to admit. I learned a lot about you. Good stuff, I hope. Oh, exclusively. OK, good. <laughs> you, um, you articulate your emotions well. Oh, that's cool. That's good to... That's good to know. <laughs> OK, I'm not allowing this whole date to be about me. What? It hasn't. OK, listen, what we're doing now is we're going to switch roles. You want to do a reading on me? Yep. And we're just going to see what we come up with. And you can laugh at me if you want. OK, you don't have a deck? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> OK, how about you pick a card and then I'll, inter <laughs> I'll interpret it for you? Well, that is not how this works, but... Let's 
see what we get. Who knows? I might actually be really good at this. So yeah, sure. Maybe. Okay, yeah, you shuffle them. <laughs> and I'm gonna do that breathing thing that you do then. <laughs> oh no. Saffron, are you okay? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm not okay, I'm not okay. I'm so hot. I'm so hot, I'm so hot. Uh, <laughs> Saffron? <laughs> Saffron, is there any, is it? <laughs> Saffron. Okay, Saffron, listen to me, right? You're fine. You're fine, I promise you. No, I'm not. I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. Listen to me. I promise you right now, you're not gonna die, okay? I'm not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna stay right here on the other side of this call, okay? So take a minute and it's fine, all right? I'm right here. That's it, just breathe. Take as long as you need, okay? I'm right here. I'm so sorry, Vinny. I'm so embarrassed. Honestly, don't be, all right? We've all got shit to deal with, and the support is what's most important. So I'm just, I'm just glad I could be here for you. Thank you for staying. <laughs> You're beyond kind. I, I understand that this is all too much for you. Please don't even think about it. <laughs> On okay? a second day as well. <sighs> Listen, why don't you just go, chill out, get some rest. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm just gonna go to bed. It's fine. You're a gem. Um, good night. Good night, Saffron. And take care of yourself, yeah? yeah. Fuck, man. How did he even know how to deal with a panic attack? I, I didn't. I guess I just... I, I did what I would want in that scenario, which is not be left alone. Hey, you are a top, top man for that, man. Well done. Seriously. I just hope she's OK, man. I hear that, man. But what a difficult thing to have to struggle with, you know? Look, obviously, this is something you have to consider whether you can handle or not. Of course. Um, I have to be all in. It wouldn't be fair to either of us otherwise. Mm. So how was the date going before that? I have to say that it was going great. Hey. Um, she's into some really different stuff, but I, Callum, I just, I, I love it. And I think that I'll really broaden my horizons with her. Wow. <laughs> I never thought that I would hear those words coming out of your mouth, bro. That's big. Neither did I, but mm. I had a lot to learn from her, and hopefully she had something to learn from me, but... I don't know what she's going to learn from you, but, yeah... Yeah, yeah. Man, that's good, man. <laughs> I think you could actually learn a lot from me and, uh, you know... Oh, is it? <sighs> <sighs> All right, man. Hey, I'm hitting the sack, man. <laughs> You've got some things to do tomorrow, and I hope that goes well for you. Yeah, I back myself. Hmm. So what do you need me for? Everything else. <laughs> Everything else in my life yes. I need. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Nah, as always, I appreciate you, man. Love, man. Take care, man. Yeah, I shall. Right. Peace. Bye-bye. It is the big dinner tonight, boy. What's on the menu? Uh, I'm going to try and cook a vegan... <laughs> I'm not going to hear you puffing already. A vegan cauliflower curry. You and your rabbit food, bruv. Listen... 
It's not too late to see the light, all right? You can change. You can, oh, you can mate, join please, our side. don't even, don't even. Come and join the good side. Happy with a bit of bacon, mate. I love a bit of bacon. So, obviously, the third date is something. No, no, it's nothing, man. Bro, if you are on an in person date, the third date, you'd be having to escalate. Yeah, but the thing is, we're not on an in person date, and therefore, I don't have to escalate. There has got to be some way to do it, bro. Okay, uh, listen, I'm just gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna read her vibe and I think that's what I got right now. <laughs> Unconventional, good luck. Okay, listen, but we'll, I'm gonna go, but we'll debrief later, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah, give us a bell, but um, if I don't pick up, call again later, yeah? <laughs> Would you, why are you laughing? What's going on? What's happened? <laughs> Hey, listen, your boy has only gone and got himself a little date tonight. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Are you serious? With who? When? Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, bro. You know I like to keep those things low-key. Okay, all right, okay, okay. <laughs> I won't mention another word about it, but you're going to tell me about it after, right? Of course, my bro, of course. Okay, cool. All right, listen, all the best. Smash it, uh, and we'll debrief when you get a chance. All uh, right, cool. All right, cool, man. I'll catch you in a bit, Carl. Peace. Bye-bye. <laughs>Chili flakes. Oh, love it. Oh, looks so good. <gasps> Can I try some? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Thank you for breaking the ice. Listen, I love from the best. <laughs> um, I guess we should address the very embarrassing elephant in the room. <laughs> Listen, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Minnie. You saw me having a panic attack and we barely know each other. Seriously, don't stress about it for a second, all right? I'm just happy I could help. While we're on the topic, is there anything you want to know about them or, or me? We don't have to talk about it if you don't want to, OK? No, I, I think it's an important part of my life that I want you to know about. How long have you had them? Um, they started in my mid-teens. Uh, I was... I don't really know how they started, but, like, I was always very self-conscious and highly strong, and I never really addressed it. And then it just sort of mutated and got worse. Shit, that sounds tough. And how old were you when you had your first one? I was 14. Um, <sighs> but it happened in private, so I didn't really know if it was, like, real or a waking nightmare. Yeah, I get that. And then it happened in public, um, in front of my friends. That was definitely real. <laughs> and I mean, were they supportive? To my face at first, and then they just started phasing out of my life very quickly. Um, but yeah, then I just changed my outlook completely, changed my lifestyle, and I'm so much better for it. <laughs> OK, uh, that's amazing. And you obviously have a lot of self-understanding. That's great. <laughs> Shut up, you. I'd say you're... What's the word? I have no idea what you're going to say right now. No, no, no. <laughs> I promise you it's a good one. An empath. An empath. That's what you um, are. OK. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty good at walking in other people's shoes. Um, and I, like, feed off other people's energy quite well, I'd say. For sure. And my love language is quality time, so... So what do you, what's love language? <laughs> you won't care about this. No, 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 I will. I want to hear. Tell me. There are five ways that we um, express and experience love, and everyone favours one. The love languages. Which are? So, words of affirmation, which is like verbal expressions that build you up and articulate affection. OK, next. Two is acts of service, so actions and gestures that you're really into, so you're into, like, thought and, like, effort. 
mainly. Okay, of course. Receiving gifts, so just presents of any form that make you feel loved. And five, no, four is quality time. That's you, for sure. Pretty self-explanatory. It just means that you like to give and receive undivided attention without any distractions. Okay. And uh, what's the final one? Oh, uh, uh, physical touch. So just okay. constant contact. So the most basic language of all. <laughs> Possibly. Which one do you think you favor? So which ones have we got? We've got words of affirmation. We've got acts of service, uh, receiving gifts. We've got you, quality time and physical touch. Ooh. Oh yeah, same as you, quality time. Because if you're really into someone, you, you want to spend all of your time with them. OK, but how undivided is your attention, though? OK, when you say how undivided, <laughs> what do you mean by it? Like, could you have your phone turned off all day? OK, so totally off. No communication with the outside world, no texting, mm -mm, like no internet. Just away, left at home, left at home. Oh, in a heartbeat, easy. Amazing, yes, agreed. You're the same, yeah? Yes. Yeah, I, don't, I, I, I sometimes, I'm, why would you want to look at your phone if you're with someone who you're, you're enjoying their company? Exactly. God, I always get really deep with you. <laughs> hey, you bring it out with me. Plus, I've actually always been so bad at small talk. <laughs> so, uh, when this is all over... <sighs> You're wondering where we're going to go on our first date, where we'll have our first kiss. <laughs> I wasn't, actually. Um, I have a confession. Oh, great. I knew it. What? OK, nothing. That was a really bad joke. Uh, but what, what's up? <laughs> I'm planning on going travelling for a year. So, yeah. Um, I was supposed to be circumnavigating, like, right now, and then obviously a pandemic happened, so... That's, uh, that's, that's great. That's, yeah. Um, I guess there's nothing better for the soul than travelling, so do it. Yeah, but let's say we developed further, and we were in a relationship, and then I just opted and left to go travelling for a year. What, what do you think you would do? Uh... Like, how would you react to that? Sorry, that's a really big question to ask you. I know, I know. <gasps> I'd be happy going long distance. Yeah, I'd wait for you if things got to that stage. Oh, that's so lovely. I, I wouldn't, though. Oh, OK. Uh, why? Do you, uh, because of other people, or...? Oh, no, no, I'm not polyamorous or anything. I just... I believe that monogamy hinges on presence. Um, yeah, love in general is best expressed to those who can be with you, spiritually and physically. OK, so you're saying that even if you were hopelessly in love with someone, you'd end it because of long distance? Well, I, I wouldn't say it'd be easy, but yeah. But I, how can you be so sure, Saffron? Because uh, emotions are so unpredictable. And sometimes life drives you apart physically. But surely you'll never be happy if you always have that condition of presence. <laughs> I can try. So you wanted to get this travelling thing on the table, yeah? Yeah, I thought it was for the best. I don't know, it seems a bit like self-sabotage. Well, dating me is complicated enough as it is. Uh, mm. oh, that is, if you want to keep dating me. I'd rather avoid any more curveballs in future. Yeah. I'd like to keep seeing you. Yeah? Yeah, you're honestly one of the most unique people I've ever met, Saffron. <laughs> That's so lovely. Yeah, and you've, you've... I don't know, you've made me open up in a way that I f feel like I've never done, so... And I hope you feel the same. Um... Hey. Hola. Have you got some of that um, sleepy incense burning? Mm-mm. Just the lavender on my pillow for bedtime. Nice. <laughs> I should have known you had more of those little home remedy things. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. So you're one of those people that needs 
like loads of sleep that you have you have to have those little <laughs> things to make you go to bed i love my sleep like seriously oh uh, can't get enough especially with this lavender when it goes i'm like see you in 12 hours <laughs> 12 hours? That's a that's a long sleep. No, 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 no. 8 to 12 hours sleep. OK, this is a quick question. What are you like when you don't get your 8 hours? I bet you're moody. She's moody, I would say. You're moody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>